Good Thursday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us on a beautiful Thursday morning. A little bit on the warm side out there. Temperatures across the Mid-South will be continued on the warm and muggy side as we go throughout the next couple of days. This weekend may give us some relief from the heat, but there will be chances of rainfall as we get into the course of the rest of the weekend. Early parts of the weekend, anyway. The latter part of the weekend, Sunday, looks to be okay. Hopefully, the rain stays away from most of it. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. We'll talk about earthquakes. We'll see a few webcams from across the area. Take a look at some of the almanac information and take a look at the forecast over the course of the next seven to ten days. So stay tuned for more on that. Bottom portion of your screen, forecast in the red bar. Temperatures in the 90s with some partly to mostly cloudy skies at times and winds out of the southwest. Not doing much to cool anybody else off. Winds continue out of the southwest later on tonight under partly cloudy skies early and low temperatures not that low, only dropping back on down into the lower to mid 70s only. Questions, concerns, ideas, austin.onic at wreg.com at the top of your screen. Earthquakes, a few in north central Oklahoma, but within the last 24 hours, very happy to report nothing going on in and around the mid south area where the New Madrid fault is concerned. Things are decently quiet there. And if you haven't heard from yesterday, the United States Geological Survey upgraded the earthquake over in central Oklahoma, the one that happened a few days ago, the 5.6 in that area around Pawnee, Oklahoma, has now been upgraded to a 5.8. So that cluster of earthquakes there still causing concern, and it was a much more powerful earthquake than was previously thought. More information on my social media pages, you can contact the United States Geological Survey or go to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. Their website address is memphis.edu slash CERI if you'd like to know a little bit more there. Advisories in the Mid-South at this point in time, nothing showing up and not expecting to see too much of anything. When it comes to radar, we're also not seeing too much of any uh, major concerns out there. We are watching a few scattered showers back to the north of us and some thunderstorms taking place at times, but nothing really huge and not seeing anything in the way of severe weather either. We are watching a cold front sitting just to the northwest of the Mid-South area, and that again is going to be stirring up some more showers and thunderstorms into around portions of the upper Midwest. Now, not this front, but the one following it is is going to be making its way down and to the south and to the east, and that one is going to be making its way into the Mid-South as we work our way toward the weekend. Even Friday night, there could be the possibility of some showers maybe some thunderstorms for the areas in around parts of the Mid-South, so we'll be watching that. But again, as of right now, this morning showing little of anything taking place directly in the Mid-South, so good news for travelers there. Sunshine and plenty of it at X Airbus Drivers Webcam from the very nice backyard pond. I'd love to have that in my backyard. Sunshine around Mineral Wells, Tennessee, close to Olive Branch, Mississippi, from Tim B's Webcam on the Weather Underground Network. 79 degrees by the time we record this. 85 heat index at Rome. Rhodes College on the Weather Underground System with some brilliant sunshine on the Rhodes College campus. Power Center Academy Elementary Campus in Memphis, Tennessee starting the school day with a few hazy clouds out there, but Olive Branch, Mississippi, Lori 38654 is webcam looking very nice out there. No major problems where it comes to sunshine being blocked by cloud cover. Hazy but sunny. A few strollers, joggers, and runners out from time to time at the track and field cam on the Ole Miss campus. And Union Plaza, people up and going for these classes or an early morning coffee, getting a jog in out there on the <laughs> Union Plaza. More of our webcams available at wreg.com slash webcams. If you'd like to see what's going on, on the Weatherbug Network, our exclusive and completely tongue-in-cheek cough temp decks. It's our way of recommending the beverage temperature based on the ambient conditions in the Mid-South area. And for today, probably would be best to have something icy to cool you off rather than a hot cup of java. But once again, your taste buds, your business. And remember, if you burn your mouth because you weren't checking the temperature, that's your fault, not ours. As of right now, the countdown to autumn is on just over 14 days and counting. This looking at less than about two weeks of summer in about the next few hours. So we're getting close to the autumn equinox as we lose daylight. 
and still seeing some summer temperatures out there over the next few days. Moderate day, but starting off on a moderate quality, and then moderate yellow zone category for tomorrow in Memphis. Not quite a code orange, but a little bit stagnant, so we could use some help to sweep out the atmosphere by just a bit. Get the sunblock and keep it handy. The UV forecast for today will be at about a 10 or a 10 plus, even up to around 11. That could be a bit of a problem for anybody outdoors. And into tomorrow, we could be looking at a 10 or 11 as well. So some very bright sunshine out there that could cause some sunburn very quickly. So the sunblock would be a very good idea. High temperature yesterday in Memphis, 95 degrees, well above worse, but it wasn't by much. 95 in Memphis, 110 in Death Valley, California. So only 15 degrees difference separated us from the hottest temperature in the rest of the country. 95 our high, normal is 88 for this time of the year. 76 the normal low, 68 the normal low temperature, 76 our low temperature yesterday. Record high of 101 set back in 1925. So hopefully not that close, but we're going to be up there for later on today. It's been a dry September, nothing in the way of rainfall so far. We are doing very good on rainfall for the year, 13 inches plus surplus for the year. So we're doing very good on the rainfall at this point out there. And that's showing up in the burn bands for the area. Wildfire danger is low for all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. No burn bands have been issued at this time for Arkansas or Mississippi. Tennessee does not issue burn bands unless on an extraordinary need by situation case by case only basis so no burn bans in effect and it looks like the wildfire danger is low vegetation is very well supplied with moisture so the what chances of anything really catching a wildfire out there getting going very quickly appears to be very low almanac showing a moon rise this morning this afternoon of 106 p.m. and a moon set tonight of 1147 if it stays clear enough we should see some very nice shots of the moon close to stat to Saturn Mars and over toward the star Antares in Scorpius the constellation moon will rise at 1.58 p.m. tomorrow afternoon and will not set tomorrow. It will set on Saturday morning very early after midnight. We're losing daylight. We're going to be down to 12 hours 38 minutes today, 12 hours 35 minutes as we head into tomorrow. So daylight going away little by little as we go toward the equinox. Temperatures today back into the mid to upper 80s to the lower 90s and the green shaded areas, that's where the computer is saying the possibility of picking up some chances of rainfall as we go throughout the rest of the morning. Even some more concentrated areas of rain into southwest Tennessee, maybe stretching on down into northern portions of Mississippi, southeastern Arkansas. And by about 6 o'clock this evening, some of those football games, junior varsity, freshmen, whatever's going on out there, could be some more concentrated rainfall coming in from the northwest. Doesn't look like much, but there could be some delays or postponements out there. News Channel 3 at 10, everything is basically over with. No chances of thunderstorms after about sunset. For the most part, winds continue out of the south by midnight tonight and a very warm start to Friday morning as those winds continue to stream up out of the south and west, keeping our temperatures up. And as we head into tomorrow, temperatures tomorrow morning around daybreak will be back in the lower to mid-70s. Seven-day forecast, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, but only a chance today and mainly in the afternoon and evening hours. Tomorrow, as that next cold front sags into the area, we may see the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms, especially, unfortunately, around kickoff for Friday night football, so that could be a bit of an issue, and temperatures back in the mid-80s for Saturday. Unfortunately, the first part of the weekend will see chances of showers and thunderstorms off and on through the day into the evening, and then temperatures by Sunday as those showers and thunderstorms dry up and move out back in the lower 80s for highs. Unfortunately, we'll be back in the upper 80s to lower 90s as we go throughout the rest of the next several days. An Iridium satellite will be flaring in the southeast skies tonight at about 831. That's Iridium 52. It'll reflect the sun's light briefly. Unfortunately, partly cloudy skies could interfere with that. Don't forget to check out my forecast available on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio Monday through Friday 6 to 9 a.m. with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live right after Memphis in the morning. And don't forget to download our weather app. Go to the App Store and search WREG Weather. Skywarn meetings coming up over the next several weeks. Learn to be a Skywarn spotter. Help keep you and your neighbors safe across the Mid-South. These are only some of the, some of the meetings coming 
coming up. There will be much more of them into the course of the next several days and weeks. Great opportunity to learn more from the National Weather Service about what to do when severe weather hits. Totally free, paid for by your tax dollars. So show up to these meetings and get informed about severe weather. Got weather pictures or questions or anything else, send them to me on my various social media web pages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. As soon as I get it on Game Boy, I'll let you know about that. Also on Instagram, also on Google+, SoundCloud, a whole bunch of other places, but too many to list at this point in time. Again, email address. Email me with questions, concerns, comments, complaints if you absolutely have to. That's a look at your latest weather forecast and a lot more on News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More coming up on Live at 9 and on News Channel 3 at noon. From the News Channel 3 studios, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me.